Okay. Hayom Yom. Wherever we are, this is applicable. Let's see how if we can see how it applies. 14 Cheshman. Okay, well, right away. The Pasuk, from God our man steps established. Everything that's happening now is just what's supposed to be happening. Every one of Israel has a spiritual mission in life, which is to occupy himself with the work of construction, to make, but building what? To make a dwelling place for Hashem in this world. Everyone, regardless of his station or location, well, must through an exhaustive search seek out a spiritual livelihood with all the intensity of his strength, just as he seeks a material livelihood. That's amazing because this is happening all over the world. Those who can't engage or who are not privileged, I would say, to engage physically in with a rifle are engaged physically with, as Rivka's picture show, supplying food, supplying things, are engaged, engaged spiritually with, as we are learning, and davening. And I just want to repeat this, with an intensity of strength, the same intensity of strength as if you were seeking, as if this is part of your earning your daily bread. This is so because, as the above verse concludes, he desires God's, his, meaning God's ways, as is written of Avraham. For I know and love him because, etc., etc., they will keep the way of Hashem. In other words, Avram, God's love for Avram wasn't based on Avram climbing the rung of discovery and coming to him and expressing his, that is, Avraham's love for God. God's love of Avram was based on Avram's commitment to command his children to do mitzvahs. So there are two ways, the way of nature and the way that transcends nature. In other words, to get involved, and as we say in, English, in, in Hebrew. God created the universe in such a way that in man's eyes, it appears to follow a set pattern of nature. This is so-called the way of Elohim. Torah and Mitzvahs are the way of Havaya. Elohim, we've learned over many times, is the aspect of God as God contains himself in the Simpson. And Havaya is the in, uh, enlivening, bringing into being force that uh, propels that Elohim, Havaya and Elohim. And we want to develop, and we've been talking a lot about meditating on developing eyes to see through nature, through Elohim, the Havaya that's invested in it, drawing that which transcends nature into nature. A virtue, and this is what we're doing in this day and age. We are Lamai Lamihateva coming to our essential connection. And it's there's one one pas, one parsha after another about Avraham. And Avraham goes on a journey. Lech Lecho, it starts this past Shabbos. We read to himself. He finds he discovers under pressure, he discovers his real self, Lamai Lamihateva, and he transcends that. That, that teva, his nature, into above nature. And it operates from lamai lamina teva, from higher than nature. By virtue of this contact of Israel, God endows Israel. Uh, <laughs> although like the face you show to the water, you face the face, you, that's the face you get back. So when we operate lamai lamina teva, by virtue of this conduct of Israel, God endows Israel from that which is beyond nature into the natural. He will bring victory. No question. With the help of the tzaddik, lessons in Tanya. The tzaddik is up there and down here, influencing everything that's going on. Part two of the letter we started, uh, Erev Shabbos, on page 173 in this volume. And part two begins here, page 292. So what he told us in that beautifully poignant letter that he wrote to the Hevra in Eretz Yisrael followers of Menachem Mendel from the text upon Menachem Mendel's Patira, his passing away. He quoted from the Zohar, as we're about to quote again and explain. Isa B'Zohar HaKadosh is brought in the Holy Zohar. The Tzadikah, the Espater, that a Tzadik, who's Pater, who passes away, 
Pater meaning free from all the baggage and the encumbrances of this world, Pater. Yishtachek Bekulu Olmin is found in all worlds, Yatem Rebchayehi, more than when he was in life. And the emphasis here is in all worlds. The Tzorak Lahavim, we have to understand this. It's settled. It goes well. We can understand that, that he's more present in the supernal worlds. That in his aliyah, as he goes up, he's found there more. How is he found more in this world? How is he found more in this world than when he was in this world? You can say, you can understand, we'll understand, we'll understand this according to the, what the Alter Rebbe is saying. We'll understand this according to what I, the Alter Rebbe, have received as a teaching on the saying of Chazal, of our sages saying, the that means that he leaves life to all the living. And he has a teaching on this, the Alter Rebbe. Canaides is known. Leaving life to all living, he's taught, he's been taught the Alter Rebbe. It's, what does that mean? What does he give when he's in his life? What is he giving? He's giving is not the life of his flesh. You know, the tzaddik in his life doesn't give his fleshly life to others. Kim Chaim Ruchnim, what he is giving in his life is he's giving spiritual life. He's a spiritual leader. He's a spiritual infuser, an infuser of spirit in each and every one of us. That's the tzaddik. And what is this life, this spiritual life, life force? It resolves the three major midos. Emuna, faith, yira, his awe or fear of Hashem, the ava, and his love. This is our, his teachings. His teachings and his drawing us close and instructing us and drawing us close in how to live with emuna, with yira, and ava Hashem. And he takes each one. Kimuna Kasiv, about Imuna, it's written in Habakkuk. The Tzadik Yichya. The Tzadik lives with his Imuna. This is where he's at. He's constantly Mamin in Hashem, Mamin in Hashkacha Pratis, Mamin in call that everything is good because it all comes from Hashem, because his view of the world is the view of Hashem infusing only goodness into the world constantly. And so that's a view that's not a seichel dik of view, that's a view that comes from deeper than seichel, from emuna. Ubiyira kasiv, and about his awe or fear of Hashem, yira shesem Hashem lechayim. It's a posik in Mishle. Fear or awe of Hashem, it gives life. Ubiyava, and about love it's written, kasiv, reidef tzedaka vechesed. That a person, this is in Habakkuk, a person should pursue, should run after love, meaning tzedek, righteousness, and kindness. And when a person, a person who does that, yim tzachayim, you'll find life. If you run after giving, giving, giving yourself away with love, with tzedek and chesed, you will find life. The chesed hu Chesed, of course, is the mita, the outcome of which of that mita is love. The Shlosha Midas Elu, in these three Midos, Heim Bechol Olam Be'olam. So these Midos, right, we know that we have ten powers, and they are models of the ten Sviros. So amongst those powers, we have Amuna, we have the Sphira of Chesed, we have the Chesed and Gevura. So these many, uh, Midos are models of, and sort of diminuations of, but entirely connected with, all of these models as they exist in the ten spheres, up and up and up and up in all the worlds. So these midos are in all the worlds. Adhraim to the highest levels. Akolafi erek bechinis mailus oilinus. Each one of these midos has an expression. These three midos of Amuna, Yira, and Ava have an expression according to the world that is that they're being expressed in. Mailasam, according to the level of the world, one on top of the other, in the manner of cause and effect, or say the histalshuas, right? Atsilas is nostalgia, Bria, Yatsira, Asiya, and the love, we'll take for example, 
love that we have down here is a model of a much deeper level of love, which goes on in Bria and then a deeper in Atsilas, et cetera, et cetera. While the tzaddik was in life on the face of this earth, these three midos of Amuna, Yira, and Ava, these three midos were betaykli ulavush. They were contained in the vessel and the body and the garment, which was his body. The bikinis mokim gashmi in a physical place. Shehi bikinis nefesh hakashura begufoi, right? In the level, in terms of levels of the soul, from yichida down to nefesh. Nefesh is the part of the soul that's connected with the physical. And these three midos were when the tzaddik was in life. Is, were connected with his nefesh hakashura begufoi, the part of the soul that's connected with the body. And any Talmud or anyone who's close to the Rabbi could only receive these midos from being close to him. They got a array of these midos, and a shine from them, as these midos shone outside the keli of the body, how? Through the tzaddik speech, and the writings of the tzaddik, and the expressions of the tzaddik's thought, of his holy thought. We repeat, through his holy speech and thought. But uh, also, Rav, in, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Today or tomorrow? Tanya, what? where are you? You're on tomorrow's Tanya? Oh, am I? <laughs> okay. I guess unrestrained. <laughs> okay. You are absolutely right. I'm way into tomorrow's time. Thanks for pointing it out to me. It's a good story, though. It's hard to stop. But I guess we will in order to keep our say there here. Okay. Well, thank you very much for uh, pointing it out to me. Sarah? You want to say something? Sorry, in Israel, you have your hand up. No, you took it down. Okay. Anybody have any questions on what we're just saying? So obviously where we're going here, right? I think it's obvious that when the tzaddik passes away, there's an unboundedness because all of these things, they don't disappear. They, nothing disappears. They just move up to higher levels. And on the a notion that the higher it is, the lower it falls. So there's a much bigger expression when the tzaddik comes out of the body. And we'll get into that. Thank you, Beth, tomorrow. Uh, there is a hand up here. Uh, Raisa, your hand's up. Oh, good morning. Good morning, yes. Good morning. Um, you know, I always feel frustrated. I often, I shouldn't say always, I often feel frustrated. We learn something so beautiful and then we just go into a day. Wait a minute. Wait, hold on. We have to hold on. I mean, we're forgetting the whole title of this class, who became. We have to take this into the day with us. So yeah. if we're not doing that, we're not doing our job here. So you want to suggest something? I just... The only things like that are coming to my mind are small things. One thing is, in if you want to connect with the Rebbe, um, whatever safer you might have, in whichever language you feel most comfortable with, to learn some sure. of his Divrei Torah. Because whenever, I mean, now we're learning the Torah of the Baal Hatanya, so right now we're connecting with the Baal Hatanya, that is yep. Roshner Zalman Berah Baruch. But through learning... Uh, or even stories. Uh, that's how we can. That's one way that we connect because they, yes, well, uh, there's a concept of that. That tzaddik has life when his words are repeated. Well, right. Well, that's actually we said that today in the portion that we were supposed to say today. That the yeah. tzaddik, he spe he leaves over. He gives words and he gives thoughts. Now we don't hear the, the speech. Although I must say, thank God for new, the technology, technological age we live in. I mean, we have video of the Rebbe, 
and I don't know how if many of you in the shows that I that are in Crown Heights. I don't know if this is true other other places. It's true in all the Chabad houses. Every month of Shabbos, they show a video of the Rebbe. And for the past few weeks, you can imagine all the videos have been the Rebbe's teaching about what to do exactly now in terms of handling the, the, the gross offensive of the negative forces. And so we have even his words and his picture. And we can. You don't have to wait for Motzei Shabbos. It's online. It's all. You can do it every day. You can get. You can get a WhatsApp for a video every day. <laughs> right. And 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 in a more yeah. traditional mode, as uh, as Reza says, there there are the Sephora, which you can pick up every moment of your life when you have a moment. So yes. Yeah, so we we have plenty to take into the day from this little piece of Tanya. We have the Rabbi and those teachings uh, to march with and to live with. And they're so important. I mean, look, it's, it's trivial to, for me to say they're so important. What I mean is they're so essential right now because to the degree that we can be distracted into, God forbid, negative thoughts, these are anchors of positive positivity that we need to live with. And we have them, for Hashem. So thank you, Raisin. And, 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 and in addition, um, I have, there's somebody who used to come to Tannersville. Um, her name is Sharon Goodman. So she's very artistic and she makes these beautiful, um, it's like to give out for, for candle lighting, these beautiful Meshek bags. So she got busy making uh, probably a hundred of them to give out. Okay. So we'll all close this Tanya session today by a commitment to getting busy today with whatever it is that we can get busy with to bring you all up. Okay? Amen. Okay.